Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. And we can now say without fear nor favour that independence is dead. I won't say rest in peace, I want to say let it rot. Let it burn in hell forever for such a divisive, dangerous policy. For most people anyway. Because there is a poll, it's been released and it makes for absolutely astonishing and astounding reading and it will I think spell the very doom of the SNP the Greens, Alaba, Ash Regan and anyone else who supports independence in Scotland because virtually no one does now. This is um, a, a, it's a, there's a survey it's come out and the numbers are absolutely crazy. Support for leaving the UK is now under 40%. Um, with Scottish voters identifying 13 different other um, issues and, and things that they find more important than changing the constitution to allow for independence. This, it, it's a, it's, it's the sun is setting on independence and sun is setting on the independence movement. And when we have a look at some of these numbers, you'll see the sun is not only setting, but has actually set and gone. And it is going to be eternal night for the SNP. Because their hopes of uh, leading Scotland to its sunny uplands of independence, as they always try to portray it, although we all know it will be an absolute devastated landscape, a post-apocalyptic destruction, the scale of which has never been seen before. They, those plans, lay in tatters. It's 10 years almost to the day from the independence vote, which was won 55-45. I mean, it wasn't that close. It was definitely a win for, um, for, the, for, the, uh, for the union. Um, very much upsetting all the SNP, which of course is always a good thing, it's always entertaining, isn't it? Um, but the, the current figures show that that 55-45 has stretched. Um, using um, a different question, because instead of saying yes, no, which was very, very favourable to uh, the, 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 the independent movement, they used simply a remain or leave question in this poll which is a much fairer question because it actually doesn't have any kind of connotation of positivity and negativity like yes and no does, but has an absolute truth. The truth is remain or leave, that's it. They are the stark choices. Um, and so obviously you get that, that benefit that of the SNP had for being the yes side of the vote has gone. 53% um, were in favor of staying. That sounds like it's a worse result than 55% um, at the uh, referendum. But the rest, um, you have to take out the, the, the not sures. And, and what it left with was just 37% of those asked said they wanted independence. They wanted to leave, 37%. Now, if you extract those don't knows, because they're the ones that wouldn't vote at an election. You are left with a stunning number. 59% remain, 41% leave. That is the death knell of independence. Nearly two thirds of Scots want to remain. Um, and, and it gets worse when you go in and delve into some of these numbers. Um, 18% of those who said they wanted to remain in the UK, 18% of them, nearly a fifth, voted SNP. So nearly a fifth of SNP voters are voting for the SNP. For what reason? I do not know. If voting for the SNP, if you, it can't be for their financial competence. And if you are somebody who wants to remain, you're not voting for independence. What on earth are you voting for the SNP for? Weird. 
I suspect those 18% though probably won't vote SNP come the next election. And that of course can be read in. And if it is, then the SNP know they are finished. They're about to lose a fifth of their vote. They won't have half a, they won't, probably half a dozen seats if they're lucky. Roll on 2026. Uh, more than half of the respondents said they would be less likely to vote to leave the UK if their personal income was reduced or public spending on health and education was reduced. Well, we know that if you leave, your taxes are going up and the spending on services is going down. That's a fact. That's a given. It has to. You just don't have the money. And so that would actually make it even more likely for Remain to win and fewer votes for Leave. And fewer votes, obviously, therefore, for the SNP or any of the other, uh, any of the other independence parties. Independence is dead. The independent parties are dying on their arse. Uh, anyway, the campaign for independence, this is a nice one. The campaign for independence is so far down the list of voters, uh, voter priorities, my apologies, uh, with just 7% of voters saying it was an important issue. Only 2% saying it was the most important issue. 13 other issues rated equally or higher to the constitution with the likes of obviously NHS at number one, cost of living crisis and the economy seen as more important, as indeed it is. Uh, three quarters of people in Scotland want the Scottish and UK governments to work together more closely, something of course the SNP is very loath to do. Uh, and according to a poll of 1,021 people, which is a little on the low side, you know, ideally you need around 2,000, but still fairly reflective. Uh, this was taken uh, in late August, so what, uh, two, three weeks ago maybe. Uh, this suggests the next Holyrood election in 2026 is neck and neck between the SNP and Labour, but I will cover that poll, that particular aspect of the poll, separately in a separate video, because it uh, deserves looking into. Um, but it goes to show, it totally is a dead cause now. Uh, independence is no longer a thing. The SNP are finished, all the union, uh, all the uh, independence parties are now finished. The people of Scotland are waking up to the fact that, you know, um, idealising um, what could be, which is all the SNP can do, they can idealise, go, oh, look, imagine, just play imagine in your mind, uh, isn't the reality in which we live. The stark reality is that uh, the economy is screwed, services are shit, uh, the politicians are all crooked and corrupt, the SNP needs to go and they all see it and increasingly and this is where it's important increasingly SNP people SNP supporters are no longer supporting the SNP their eyes have been opened the scales have dropped they've woken up they've smelt the coffee and they see the party and the country in the harsh light of day not before time fantastic numbers anyway thank you very much take care speak soon goodbye